the basic rule of thumb, anything we put in the database migration needs to be immutable forever. Application code is definitely not immutable. We're changing it all the time, adding and taking away features, refactoring things. And you're never running this database code until you're in a bind. Your database migrations just sit there, not run. There's no test suite hitting them unless you have it set up that way on purpose. This issue, it can strike at a bad moment. You're already in emergency mode trying to fix your schema.rb or whatever's going on there. If you've worked with web development in any capacity, you've most likely had a stressful moment with your user's production data. You want to do right by your customer. You don't want to delete something by accident. What you would want to do is not put this here. You might make a migration that adds the column. You might just run this command and in the Rails console, or it might go all the way to having a nice robust background job that's designed to run these kinds of data migrations that happen as a point in time.